Megan, so Crossgreen, we've been talking about it for quite a while. Tell us sort of where the industry is and some of the work that you're doing. Yeah, it's important to understand that cross-platform is uh, about measuring linear television or streaming with linear ad loads across devices. And it's across, uh, and it is across bringing digital dynamic or non-linear ad loads together across, um, across devices. The first one, the linear ad loads, has already been done. So the TV ratings today is truly cross-platform. We follow shows as they move across devices where they have a linear ad load. So that's done. From a digital perspective, we've done that from measuring ads through digital ad ratings. And we've done that from measuring ads, not just showing on digital devices, but an extension to TV devices through total ad ratings, putting those two together. The trick in the digital world, the bottom piece, is to find comparability in what constitutes the comparison of, say, for instance, a six second ad in a digital direct response world to a 30 second ad in an AVOD environment. What, is, what are the mechanisms that compare one to the other? And so the work that you talk about a lot is, um, is about finalizing that, getting that done, finding that comparability uh, for us to be able to measure it to uh, the industry standards and produce ratings that are cross-platform in a digital environment. So the two are slightly different, but linear cross-platform measurement is done. And where does that stand in terms of industry adoption from your point of view? Look, I think, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very difficult one because the, the ad loads are different, the ad context is different, the way that they're used inside of different uh, programming is different. So to rest on uh, viewability standards between a 30 second ad and a 6 second ad is hard, but somewhat to a place where it's close if not done. To, uh, to agree to what constitutes brand safety in a digital, pure digital environment, to brand safety on the TV screen, which is somewhat easier, is work that we think will get done pretty quickly. But um, being able to credit based on something like, uh, was somebody watching a TV program, but at the same time on their iPad and on their phone looking at content at the same time? How do you credit that to the minute? It's really tricky. The devil's in the details somewhat. It's very tricky to put the rules around that and make sure that you ground yourself on a standard, which is a common standard that the industry agrees to so that you can implement. So we're some ways there, but we're not all the way there in terms of that market agreeing to those standards. Megan, tell us about the alliance with Open Slate. It's an important one. Um, we believe that inside of the digital ad ratings um, is the need to make sure that we're measuring audiences across platform. Number one, um, based on reach and frequency, the most basic metric, that we're deduplicating those audiences so that we know that this person who's watching a show or an ad on a TV program is the same person that saw it on Google or Facebook or, or uh, Hulu, and we're able to deduplicate that to one person. Um, and that uh, they actually viewed uh, and uh, that they viewed to a standard which is comparable, which goes back to my earlier point. And uh, more and more importantly now is that that ad was placed in a brand safe environment. What Open Slate does is it uses machine learning to work out what a brand safe environment looks like for a particular brand and is able to score back to the advertiser whether or not their advertising got into the right content. And we think that that is imperative to a hygiene metric, a true reach metric, and it's an important output for the advertiser to know that they got what they paid for.